You want to see something really scary? <laughs> Meet Hellwater Fire. All right. I've been covering climate change for quite a while now and debunking the facts that it's double barrel bullshit. Okay, I live in a country of ice and snow and it's been ice and snow for 47 years every year that I've been alive. I was born in a goddamn blizzard. <laughs> so of course that makes him a climate change expert. <laughs> I know something about the climate, the local climate he's talking about since I live in the same city. <laughs> Apparently though he wants to take on Desert File. He thinks he needs to debunk Desert File. Let's see how it goes. Blah, blah. Okay, so I stumble upon this guy named Desert File. Okay, he he's a goddamn Australian and thinks he knows everything about fucking climate change, but he's, you know, he's down under, which tells you he's, you know. Desert File is in New Mexico, which is in the United States, just south of us. You dim bulb embarrassment to the locals. Get a little more specific. What the hell are you actually on about? Here we are uh, with the uh, UN IPCC. De uh, they uh, retracted a story that said that their climate change theories were all correct and that they uh, all their data was right. But then they retracted the story when it was uh, brought up about the fact of the sun forcing from so maximum that changes the climate on Earth. And they had to retract their story because they didn't do the data on sun forcing or radioactive forcing from the sun. Yeah, he's referring, he's referring, of course, to the radioactive forcing issue that has been proposed by the guy that leaked the IPCC AR5 report uh, as being significant in causing uh, climate change and that we shouldn't need to worry about human-caused uh, caused influences. Um, you know, but from what I've heard of the report, yeah, that's not quite so. That's been challenged. In fact, the report says quite the opposite. But uh, let's let this uh, dickhead go on. I just pulled the actual files, the IPCC AR5 draft leak. It is in my hands at this moment. Oh, goody. Me too. I just happen to have the entire report here as well. Aren't facts wonderful things? Let's take a look. What is it about the report that gives you so much trouble? People throw all these facts around pretending they're facts when they're not facts because anything that is estimated is not fact. It's assumption. So when you say, oh, it's fact that uh, the RF value of 0.50 uh, in the 20 WM minus 2 squared and considers the minimum evaluation of sorry it don't work with the hell water yeah I'm sure simple math doesn't work with you be specific what exactly is it about the report that troubles you that convinces you that this guy's idea that it, it, we have nothing to worry about and that all the uh, people worried about climate change should just shut up be specific chapter 8 the second order draft of IPCC WGI fifth assessment report and in every segment of this report nothing but the word estimate and I'm just gonna read read it off until I hit the word estimate then I'm gonna move on to the next one and that is exactly what the guy proceeds to do reading through a section of the report and every time he hits the word estimated completely dismisses the topic and moves on to the next one in an effort to dismiss it too. Apparently the man has a comprehension problem. Um, this is a report on the possible future consequences of um, climate change, whether or not it's real, and uh, what should be done about it. It is therefore a projection, and apparently he can't understand the concept that a projection is estimated based upon real facts idiot. Well, I also just happen to have a copy of the complete report here in PDF format. You can get it from a number of places, including from a website set up as a blog by the guy who leaked the report in an effort to try and debunk it, I guess. Uh, doing essentially exactly the same, since when you read the documentation that he himself posted, it says pretty much exactly the opposite of what he's saying. Let's take a look. 
Here it is here. From the summary, summary for policymakers, page number two, observation of changes in the climate system. Widespread changes in the atmosphere are observed across spatial and temporal scales. Strong evidence has emerged that the physical and biomechanical, biogeochemical, excuse me, state of the oceans has changed during the past 40 years. Important parts of the cryosphere, in particular the extent and volume of snow and ice have changed over the latter half of the 20th century. Paleoclimate archives provide quantitative information on the range of naturally driven changes in the climate system on time scales from centuries to millions of years. And then highlighted, the AR4 report concluded that warming of the climate system is unequivocal. New observations in this report, longer data sets, and more paleoclimate information give further support for this conclusion. Confidence is stronger that many changes that are observed consistently across the components of the climate system are significant, unusual, and unprecedented, unprecedented on time scales of decades to many hundreds of thousands of years. Continuing, widespread warming is observed from the surface of the Earth throughout the troposphere and cooling is identified in the stratosphere. Globally averaged near-surface temperatures have increased since the beginning of the 20th century and the warming have been particularly marked since the early 1970s. Each of the last three decades have been significantly warmer than all preceding decades since 1850. That seems pretty straightforward to anybody who can uh, you know, use their brain to think a little bit. Um, let's move on a little bit to some, some of the things that are more specific in, the, in that particular uh, summary. For example, on uh, cryosphere observations. More comprehensive and improved observations strengthen the evidence that the ice sheets are losing mass, glaciers are shrinking globally, sea ice cover is reducing the, in the Arctic, and snow cover is decreasing, and permafrost is thawing in the northern hemisphere. Ice is being lost from many of the components of the cryosphere, although there are significant regional differences in the rates of loss. That's a little worrying. Sea level observations. It is unequivocal that global mean sea level is rising, as is evident from tide gauge records and satellite data. Observation of carbon and other biogeochemical quantities. More than half of the total carbon emitted by human activities has been taken up by the ocean and the land since 1750. The remainder has caused an increase in atmospheric CO2 concentration by over 40% since 1750 and by about 10% since 1990. All very worrying facts. Long-term perspective from paleoclimactic records. An analysis of a number of independent paleoclimactic archives provide a multi-century perspective of northern hemisphere temperature and indicate that 1981 to 2010 was very likely the warmest 30-year period of the last 800 years. So far it seems to me that the a summary to the report is saying exactly the opposite of what the climate change deniers are trying to get you to believe. Drivers of climate change. This is important. Globally, CO2 is the strongest driver of climate change compared to other changes in the atmospheric composition and changes in surface conditions. Its relative contribution has further increased since the 1980s and by far outweighs the contribution from natural drivers. CO2 concentrations and rates of increase are unprecedented in the last 800,000 years and at least 20,000 years respectively. Other drivers also influence climate on global and particularly regional scales. All worrisome stuff. What else we got here? Under detection and attribution of climate change. 
it is extremely likely that human activities have caused more than half of the observed increase in global average surface temperature since the 1950s. There is high confidence that this has caused large-scale changes in the ocean, in the cryosphere, and in sea level in the second half of the 20th century. Some extreme events have changed as a result of anthropogenic influence. All of this says to me that there is serious concern that uh, the, the leaked report, which is actually not due to come out till 2014, uh, in fact does say that there is a large human influence in causing climate change. The chapters that that guy was referring to on solar influence, certainly it's going to have some influence, but the uh, major influence, or at least a large part of it, is human caused activity and that is something we can and should do something about. Anything else is the attitude of a dickhead. Kinda like that guy. Fuck you guy. The rest of you, peace and long life.